later than expected. The U.S. government is inking a massive $25 billion mortgage settlement with the nation's financial giants. Uh, you saw that earlier this year. Now comes the tough part, making sure that the banks hold up their end of the deal. That's the job of our next guest, Joe Smith, is the monitor of the Office of Mortgage Settlement uh, and, and Oversight. And I figure, you know, keeping them on, what, what, how would they get around it? Uh, Joe, what, what would they do that, that you need to keep an eye on so closely? Well, I don't think, good morning, by the way. Good morning. I, I, don't, th I don't think they're going to try to get around it. I think they're going to try to comply with it. And I'm going to uh, do my best, along with a lot of high-quality help, uh, to uh, check their work and be sure they uh, abide by it. Yeah. By the way, if I could say, if I could say Joe, the, the agreement was with uh, 49 state attorneys general, or 49 states through their attorneys general, and with the United States government. Okay, good. And um, it would be nice. I, I mean, I understand punitive measures, but it would be nice if if the 25 billion would actually uh, go towards, I don't know, something that would that would help the the uh, housing industry rebound more quickly. Well, there are two pieces to the part of the settlement I'm uh, overseeing. One is the consumer relief, which you just referred to, and the second is a um, restructuring of the settlement process or the servicing processes that the banks uh, use when dealing with distressed borrowers. So there, there are two pieces. The, the first uh, part, the consumer relief part, um, is essentially the banks to do. They have obligations to do uh, principal forgiveness or other kinds of restructurings of loans. Um, and so we will be checking on that, and I'll have a lot of help checking on that. And the uh, second piece, the servicing standards, um, will uh, take um, will be done over time. Uh, they'll imp implement them over the next, well, uh, 18 months or so. Well, not 18 months, uh, nine, six months. And um, when that's, we will be monitoring that as it goes. So I'm hopeful, actually, that the servicing uh, reforms will be the long-lasting benefit we get uh, from this uh, process. There's, uh, let me get, I got a couple of, of sort of politically charged um, questions with this because it's so politically charged. The, the one is that there, there's a whole, and like so many things in the country right now, there's a, there's a whole contingent uh, of people that think we should have let the mortgage market equilibrate immediately uh, and, and sort of like flush it out so then we'd actually have a, a better recovery now. There's others that say that we haven't done nearly enough and, and that actually no one, I guess, should have been foreclosed and all the principals should have been forgiven. Where are you on that? Well, where I am is enforcing the settlement agreement that um, will test out some forms of mortgage forgiveness to see if it helps the market. Um, I think we're past the idea of letting the market, well, the, a problem about, the, <laughs> well, a problem, about the, a problem about the first theory is that um, the mortgage process, the foreclosure process itself, I should say, was so busted, it would be hard to let it happen that way. The, um, the, the in fact, there there are issues about yeah. the quality of some of the foreclosures that have already been done. Well, that's the other thing, and, though, Joe. That people would say, and and this is a, you know, whether it's true or not, but this is what you'll hear on one side of the political spectrum is that there were robo signings, admittedly, but that no one right. who wasn't way behind on their mortgages, so, no one that, that wasn't already a year and a half in abeyance or whatever was was foreclosed right. upon so it's almost like a technical fact that you know that that's what they point to to say that the the robo signing shouldn't have even mattered and here's a a settlement that's punitive and it, it puts the banks in a bad light when in fact a lot of the people were were not current on their mortgages right all well of, all i can yeah all i can say to that joe is that um um the banks uh have agreed to a fairly extensive and I think helpful settlement that will do a lot of good for the mortgage market, and they didn't do that um, out of the goodness of their hearts, right? There was I don't the, know. That. The, I mean, it's the, tough the, to the, fight the, City well, Hall. It's a bit, do well, you know of a single case where someone was foreclosed upon that where it wasn't a robo signing, but it was where the person was current and should not have been uh, proceedings should not have been initiated against them? I don't, but I'm hearing. I have a lot of friends, not friends. Well, they are friends, and people who are talking to me now. I get a lot of calls from a lot of people, and there are some examples. I think the more important thing, however, is that the that the false filings or incorrect filings, if you if you would prefer, mm -hmm. uh, were viol were violations of law. I mean, you mm -hmm. can talk about that as a technicality if you want to, but it's a question of, of the relationship, in my mind, of capital <laughs> markets to our to our government. You, oh, you and, mean and if so someone I, accepted no docs or no income or no address, those, those types of things? That, that's what you mean? Or, or, or well, false filing? No, no, even no, if it's a technicality, no, you mean it's a false no. filing? I, I mean that the, the amounts 
the banks said they were owed was, was in many cases not correct. Now, oh, okay. it may not have been a miss by a mile, it may have been a miss by a, a, a minute, but the point is that compliance with law is an important, I think it's an important thing. And um, it got the banks in a lot of hot water, not with, just yeah. with the states, but with Treasury, with HUD, and with U.S. Justice. And they had, if anyone who wants to know about the, the seriousness of what went on, ought to read the complaint in the case that's just been settled. Okay. It was, it was serious. All right, very good. Uh,